Hi everyone. So in this video, we will have a look at a Power Query solution to this problem in which we are given with this particular input table and we have to generate our output which looks like this, right? So what we have to do exactly, let's say we are given with this particular invoice number 128 and corresponding to this, we have the helper values. Now what we have to do is in our output table, we have to generate a unique column consisting of all the invoice numbers and adjacent to each of the invoice numbers, we have to uh, create a row in which contains all the uh, all the helper values right uh, in a in a single row right so this will be column number column one value column two value column three value and so on if i add let's say in future 128 again in this data so this uh, table should get updated right and uh, we have to keep our query dynamic so in future if let's say we add more data with more number of rows than we had in existing table then in that case it should update upon uh, refreshing the query so that is our task and uh, we have another sheet with the same table and let's uh, load it to the power query editor so we will go to data tab and we will click on from table slash range and we have our data loaded into query editor let's remove this change type step for, for now and as our first step what we will do is we will group based on this invoice number so what we will do we will click on this group by step right and again we have to group on the basis of invoice number let's name our new column as helper and we want all rows back let's click on ok and we have got all the values as a table and let's do one thing let's do one thing that uh, let's remove this extra part from here and let's say in place of this we only want the helper column back so this will create a list for us which contains all the values corresponding to this invoice number correct now let's do one thing that let's say we wish to count the number of values that were there for this particular invoice number so what we will do is we will come here and uh, we will write another function that is list count right list count and we will close the bracket here we will close the uh, bracket here and we have got the uh, count of all the values that were there for corresponding invoice numbers now what we will do is we will create a numbered list starting from one and going until the count of that particular list right so we will uh, again use one here uh, double full stop here and then we will uh, close the curly braces here right and we have got our numbered list for each of these uh, corresponding invoice numbers now what we have to do is we have to uh, convert that earlier uh, list of helper columns into a record right so we will require this particular list for that we will use this particular list as our uh, field name right Re field name for that particular record so what we will do is in order to use that as a field name we, we will have to transform this particular list as a text right so for that we will use list transform function list transform and this is our list that we have to transform comma what is the function that we have to apply simply text dot dot from right text dot from and let's close the bracket and now the values of our list are transformed as text in, in instead of numbers and in the next step what we will do is we will um, create a record so we will uh, use a function record dot from list and our list is the helper column right helper column for each of the invoice numbers so we will write we will write helper column here comma right so so this record dot from list uh, demands two inputs from us that is list so we have given the list here and second one is the field names right what are the fields that we uh, wish to pass into uh, into this record so we will uh, again pass this particular uh, function to that argument and now let's close the bracket for our record dot from list function and we have successfully created a record for each of the uh, helper list that we initially generated so we have uh, these records and these are dynamic so they continue until the uh, count of the particular values that were there in that particular invoice number so we have successfully created uh, uh, records for each of these now let's make uh, let's create another step right let's create another step and in this step let's do one thing let's only take the helper column right let's only take the helper column and we have got all these records now what we will do is we will use a 
list transform function and what we have to do is we have to basically count the number of fields that were there in each of these records so what we will use we will use record field counts right field count right record field count let's close the bracket and we have got again the same number back that is how many elements how many values were there in each of the list or each of the records how many fields were there in each of the records correct so now what we have to do is we have to take out the maximum from these because the maximum from this list maximum value from this list is is going to be the number of columns that we are going to have in our output table right which is 24 here so we wish to have 24 columns in our output table so what we will do is we will use list max function right list max function and let's close the bracket and we have got our uh, result we we have seen one way of creating a sequence like this right if we are starting from one then one until list dot max we could do like this as well and uh, as an alternative what we could do is we could use another function that is list numbers right list numbers and let's say our starting value is one comma and what is the count so our count is uh, this list dot max let's close the bracket press enter and we have generated this list now again this list we are going to use as our field names for those particular records right when we are going to create a table from these records so we would require these right we, we would require these as our uh, column names so again we would have to transform this, them as text so we would use list transform function here again list transform and we have to transform them as text so we would use text from right and let's close the bracket so we have transformed these as text so this this is just a kind of helper step that we created and now we will jump on to our main step so we will again click here to add a step right and we will refer to our group rows step so we would refer to our group rows step and we again have come here correct now what we will do is we will click here right we will click here and we will uh, let's say remove this uh, option of use original column name as prefix let's click on ok and we have partially got our result so what what are the parameters for this expand record column so the parameters were table so we have given table as custom to correct so this is okay then column as text what is the column uh, what, what is the particular column that we are expanding so helper column was the uh, column that we are expanding then field names as list and new columns uh, column names as list so again in place of these two inputs we could directly refer to our custom one step right custom one step and again here custom one step remember in custom custom one step we created a sequence from 1 to 24 using list dot numbers function so that is the thing that we are doing here custom one step and we, and we are successfully done with our output right uh, this is not uh, again just what exactly what we required uh, but we can do that as well so what we will do is we will use another list transform function here list transform this is the list that we are looking to transform correct comma what we have to do is for each of the items of this list what we have to do is we have to basically uh, combine the uh, numbers with the prefix column so column hyphen and uh, let's close the double quotes and the uh, current number right so each of the numbers we are using uh, underscore for that let's close the bracket right let's close the bracket and th we have again got our results so these are the invoice numbers and these are the columns so we have again got 24 columns and this is the uh, th this is ending here right th we have a value for this 24th column here so uh, this is the result that we wanted to that 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 we were required to generate and we have generated it and again this is this will be dynamic because nowhere we have again hard coded anything we have hard coded any number of uh, columns we have again generated it uh, using uh, functions right power query functions m functions so it will be dynamic in future if if let's say more than 24 rows of data gets added for any particular invoice number so so now let's load our query to the to excel right as a table so close and load to as table existing worksheet let's load it here let's click on ok 
and we have got our results right let's say in future we add another inverse number let's say as hb right and let's say uh, it has helper as 78 again at hb here right it has let's say 24 here and add one more hb here let's say it has 89 here correct let's come to our uh, generated table let's refresh our query and we have got results correct so this is this is what we uh, wanted to have i hope to see you in more such videos in future thank you